How's everybody doing today? Alfred, CEO, President, New Age Electric. I want to do a quick video on phasing. Now, s s some of us don't always do phasing in their kind of industry, but um, in the commercial and healthcare side, this is more common than the public work, where public work you get a start date and an end date and it's over. Uh, commercial and healthcare, we're told to break out many spaces um, because they want to see if they got it in the budget or they want to shift personnel around to into one space and then into the new space and then work on the old space and so forth so let's get started I'm going to show you how to do this in Acubit all right first off let's go to your takeoff and then what we're going to do is you're going to click your phase button and you want to make sure you want to put your number of phases in. And in this case, we are using three phases. And I got a demonstration drawing to show you. Um, I already have the setup where each system is already taken off. So I'm going to show you in the drawing. So in this case, we have three phases broken out. I got phase one, two, and three. Each of the devices and systems is broken out. And then I'm going to demonstrate fixtures as well. Phase one, two, and three devices, some controls, and the fixtures. Really quick, you'll see that I can scroll around here. I can go to fixtures. Uh, let's see. This is in the other drawing. There you go. So your fixtures are broken out, phase one, phase two, and phase three. So we're doing this for each system. Um, there's teledata. See that's broken out. And so forth. All right, so your next step is in any kind of these tabs, so let's say incidental labor. <clears throat> we got three different phases and each phase is going to start one after another. You might have some startup time. What you could do is you could say maybe you want to give the guy a day, to, you know, break down the area and then set up for each area. So let's say he's going to have 24 hours total. Now we need to break this out per phase. If you click the three dots here, there's going to be a phase button. Now you see the phases you created. You can break this out and to distribute it however you want it. So if you want to do, you know, 33.5, 33.5, and just say this is 33, and then you see you got 100%. So it's telling you you're allocating 100% to all three phases and the dollar value. To hit OK, we'll leave that alone. Uh, no labor factoring, no labor escalation, no indirect labor. So let's say you got three different subs. Um, in this case, I would say to copy each one of these into three different phases if you have um, a subcontract in each of these phases. So let's say there's going to be fire alarm devices in each one of these. So I would suggest because your Fire alarm subcontractor is going to break this out for you. So let's assign this back to fire alarm 100%. Each one of these. Alright, so we're going to call this, you know, phase one, phase two. And phase three. Click the three dots, and we're gonna say phase one, you know, 100% for that phase. Phase two, 100% for that phase. And phase three, 100%. And then we'll just throw some dollars in here. We'll say that one's 5,000. We'll say this one's 7,000. We'll say this one's only. 2500 make sure you 
pick up your markup if you're marking up your subs. Um, same thing, general expenses, you can distribute it out if you want to do that. Um, quota materials, if you got any kind of distribution, same thing, but three different phases and whatnot. Um, so let's go to extension really quick. So if you break this all out correctly, you're going to have your fixtures, your material, and whatnot. And if you have your pricing, this is all going to be allocated correctly if you assign this to each phase correctly. So what you're going to see in the end is a breakdown. So in order to see your phasing, you're going to have to click Add select phase add it let's group the general expensive equipment if you have any hit okay whoops I hit system sorry phase add general expenses equipment and there you go so your phase one phase two phase three is all broken out if you took it off correctly this should all be allocated correctly your subs and all so you can tell them your general contractor that phase one is worth $40,061. This is adding the markup already included and this is based off of what you put in here for this. So it's saying it's 80041 If you go back into breakdown, you're going to see it says 80041 And it's distributing that markup in all three. So 10% for all three. Now we could take this a step further and say, we'll go back to add. And let's say we wanna see the system first and then we wanna do the phase. We'll group the general and equipment and allocate that. So this is what you're gonna see now. Your phase one fixtures, phase one, two, and three, your switches, your wiring devices, your fire alarm, telephone and data, television, and any incidental labor. See that all broken out? Um, some cases you might need this, some cases you may not. Uh, I just, most GCs prefer just to see the, uh, the breakout and and, and if you do it this way, you, you'll give a pretty adequate, uh, adequate breakout of each of the uh, phases that they would require. Um, you can always hit this go back system. I'm sorry, phase. You can get rid of that. Uh, once again, this is also, you, you do have to do this for each of the systems. If there's a distribution and only phase one, just add phase one. Um, just make sure you're allocating everything correctly and you will have an adequate breakdown because what does happen is the owner might come back and say we don't have enough money to do phase one and we just want to do phase two and three so if you go back to this layout of the phases you'll see that Phase one may have been worth a lot of money, and phase two and three are very small jobs. And if you didn't allocate this right, and you just took a guess, saying you know this one was thirty thousand, that one was fifteen, and that one was eight, you might be out of luck in the end, and may have to be eating a lot of money because the fixtures and your devices and your labor wasn't allocated correctly. So this is a pretty good way of doing it. You're, you're pretty sure when you sent this over that you're more than confident in your number. Uh, once again, any questions, please leave some comments. Uh, this is Alfred Flores, CEO, President, New Age Electric. Thank you for watching.